In the original video about the Fluke 8020A, whenever I showed test leads plugged into it, they were just some generic Pomona banana uh, leads of various types that fit, but they weren't really like the originals, and I wanted to find some appropriate test leads that would look right and be similar to what originally came with the meter. Now the oldest meter from Fluke I have before acquiring this one is my Model 77, which I showed at the beginning of the 8020A video. And I thought leads like that would work fine because the leads I had for my 77 do work on the 8020A. So this video is about the test leads I did select for the 8020A, but they'll also work for the Model 77 and, and others of its series and uh, the period of time it was made. I contacted Fluke Tech Support, and as I mentioned in the other video, one of the things about companies like Fluke, even though their products are premium priced, is you do get something for that price, uh, and that is much better support than most companies offer on older equipment. So I just called Fluke Tech Support and said, hey, I've got uh, a Model 77 I might want new leads for and also an old 8020A. And I think they take the same kind of leads. And do you have anything that's appropriate to those? Because all the newer leads are double shrouded types um, and they don't fit these older meters. And the technician said, as a matter of fact, our modern Model TL75 leads uh, are a type we've been making practically forever. They're single shrouded uh, and they will work with those old meters and we still make them to support those old meters. So I purchased a pair from Amazon. Here is what the uh, listing is on Amazon. That's what they call it. So you could search for that if you're interested. And the price I paid was just under $21. Here are some details from the packaging. Hard point, uh, two millimeter diameter probe and test lead set, TL75. Extra hard probe tips made of proprietary alloy to provide long service life. Comfort grip probes with PVC insulated, uh, 1.2 meter or 4 foot leads. Safety designed right angle shrouded 4 millimeter or 0 0.16 inch uh, banana plugs. Double insulated with integral strain relief on each end. Safety IEC 61010-031 CAT 2, 1000 volts CAT 3, 1000 volts CAT 4, 600 volts, 10 amps. Pollution degree 2, 3000 meter altitude. Operating temperature minus 20 degrees C or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 55 degrees C to um, 131 degrees Fahrenheit. 90% relative humidity, one year warranty. Even though the uh, test lead insulation is PVC, uh, I don't know what kind of formulation they use, but it's fairly floppy. It's not stiff. It's not very kinky uh, like a lot of PVC insulations are. It's it's not quite as good as a high quality silicone rubber insulation, but it's pretty good. And I think they must have a fairly high strand count uh, inside, but even they don't actually put it in their specifications how many strands. As for the styling, here are the new probe tips or the uh, the part you grab. <laughs> on the bottom and then above it are the original probes from the um, from the Fluke 77 meter. So the styling is nearly identical although the diameter of the new ones is is a little bit bigger but they're the same length and same basic style. The test lead kit, that TL75 test lead kit that is, in addition to the test leads already shown they come with a pair of probe tip shrouds shown installed on them here. Those just reduce the uh, length of the uninsulated probe to just the very tip, which can be handy sometimes. And they snap on and snap off pretty easily. And here I have the new TL75 leads plugged into the Fluke 8020A meter. 
and I'm just doing a quick continuity check by touching the probe tips together. So these do work just perfectly, so I hope that this helps anybody else who's working with these old meters find an appropriate type of test lead for them.